Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to start this video now for like the past few minutes and Salah so made me laugh so hard before he left the room. Okay, um, so hi, welcome to another video. This might be a longer one, so get something to eat and get comfortable. Um, I have another, you might hear my cat playing in the background with like one of these things. She likes them a lot, so I gave her like one to play with. Um, they like bags and things crinkly that make noise. Don't you, sweet angel? Aww. <laughs> it's diet food. So I um, don't think I'm gonna do a weigh-in or vlog today. I'm just not feeling it. I know that I'm not doing the greatest. I had a lot of snacks last night. So I caved. And, um, I'm, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> sweet angel. And I, yes, I do cut when I tell her to get down because sometimes it takes a long time. Okay. So anyways, um, I will, I decided that if I'm not doing this, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So I'm going to look into more resources, really pick something. I think I'm going to pick. I'm, I'm still torn, but I think I'm going to pick the three meals and two snacks meal plan. And I picked a date. I'm going to like start everything on the 26th or like next week for sure. I need a bit more time, obviously. And, you know, but in the meantime, I've kind of gotten accustomed to eating these meals. I don't like, I'm not in the mood to order like KFC or something gross. And, you know, um, yeah. And Salah was like, even if you're, you know, encouraging me, even if you're, you're still snacking at night and you have, you know, bad moments, still stick to the, the diet food, you know, it's going to be, um, it's healthy for you and don't fully give up. So, oh, my back, my back, my back. Anyway, sorry, it's kind of painful. So, um, but yeah, uh, so that's that. So I'm going to, um, get back when I'm really fully ready to restart I will restart don't worry but I'm not gonna sit here and eat junk food on my mukbangs don't worry about that either it's gonna be this kind of food with my eat with me dinners okay so um so I want to talk about vent about some things I put up a video I, I have to stop talking about this because you know it's just there's no point right now but I guess I hope it brings a little bit of awareness to pointing out this person's lies okay um, if you're lost about this I know maybe just skip this one um, oh yeah this is red beet mutabal and hummus with roasted bread, 310 calories. This is a chicken fajita sandwich and cream of chicken soup. So I'll put all the, the calories on the screen. Um, so, and nice water. <laughs> Yummy. This looks really good, actually. It's like seasoned chips with... Mutabal is like a beet dip and hummus and the ch pita chips wheat pita chips chicken fajita so i posted a video of what can i call this person i don't want to name her name her at all um i don't know liar i get accused of lying a lot but not like this person reminds me of one of those pathological liars that just 
lie about the dumbest things. Like when I talked to her on the phone, um, and she was trying to like, I'm just looking out for you, sister. She was like, said she had like a black belt in like martial arts. She's she's a weirdo. I don't know how people don't see it or they just don't care. I guess. Um. So she basically stole my poor elderly cat because she wants to look like a hero, okay, to everybody. All right, so let's start. Bismillah. She wants to look like a hero. I'm gonna try this. Mmm. Good. A bit sweet because beets are sweet. Hey, baby girl. A hero from what? If you look at. On my community post, I posted conversation receipts between me and who I thought I was rehoming my cat to. By the way, many people have to rehome their pets. It was a hard decision for me. Especially for BBJ, because she's so elderly and needs special attention. Which while I was in Kuwait, yes, I made the mistake of overlooking that. I was ignorant with her nails. Because they looked fine to me on video chat the first time. I thought she would be okay till I get home from Kuwait. And if I didn't rehome her the day before her vet appointment, which I made for her vet, I would have taken her to the vet and she would have gotten the vet care. So she's a hero from what? Because, yeah, she took her to the vet before I did. That's the only only thing. Um, this cat is 21 years old. Extremely elderly. In pain. Has severe arthritis. Urinary issues because cats get kidney disease when they're elder. This person doesn't like cats. This person, I think, has a dog which BBJ is terrified of. Um, so in this video I posted, I'm glad someone caught that, the clip, because I can use that against her if I need to legally. Because I, people are saying, you didn't take the time to vet the two, fully investigate the person you rehomed BBJ to. I did the best I could. Um, I had a lot going on in my life. I had so much to do in one month. And I did take the time, if you look at those receipts on the community tab, I did take the time to, you know what, my mistake, yes, I'm too trusting, because it never crossed my mind that someone would be so evil and messed up as this Amy Flowers loser to even do something like that, to trick someone, elaborately be like, fabricate all these lies to get me to rehome to her. I hate when people say, you rehomed her, it's none of your business now. Yeah, it is. Because I would have never rehomed her to this liar. And there's why. There's no proof that BBJ is okay. No video evidence of anything. The cries in that clip on my channel, in the previous video I did, she sounds distressed to me. She sounds like, um, like a like a neat I need something from you or I'm in pain I know my cat I've had her for like what 19 years since 2004 do the math so mm, I like the red beet dip We don't know, like it's like, <laughs> the cat needs more than just going to the vet. She's elderly. She doesn't need a crappy collar. She doesn't like wearing collars. So you're giving her money to buy BBJ a collar she doesn't even like to make the cat more miserable just to spite me. <laughs> okay. 
She doesn't need a huge catio. She says she buys these things, but where's the like where where is it? Why not show it after? Why not show the cat being happy? If she shows the cat being happy and everything, but she could do that easily. She think of it this way, she doesn't like me. She's an insane liar, proven liar. Telling people she her man looks like a lumberjack. <laughs> it's not a flex. I'm not flexing that I have a man. But if you're going to come for me and call my man all the names in the book and come for a relationship and say it's fake, when you have an imaginary one, you need to check yourself. Just like commenting on what I eat when you don't even show yourself weighing in and you're on a diet journey. Okay. I swear her audience couldn't be any more blind or dumb, really. Voila. Anyway. I asked for pictures of this person's home. I built trust with this person. Again, when you rehome, you take a chance. You never in your wildest dreams Imagine that the cat is going to somebody who would fabricate such lies to get what they want. To one-up me. I have your cat. She's a psychotic individual. I mean, proof it, enough said. Chicken wrap. Mm. That's good. So just because I had to rehome her doesn't mean I don't care about her well-being. And I was able to give Sam to a family friend. Yes. You have the zoomies. Hey. She's playing with the wire. But that's not always the case, especially with a, a cat like BBJ with health problems. She's elderly. You know. And you can't say she got the vet care she needed because in the communication with me and this person I was rehoming her to, I clearly said, I have a vet appointment tomorrow. I'm concerned. I want to take her. No, 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 no. We'll come pick her up tomorrow. We'll take her. Why so adamant about that? Because it got her thousands of dollars from morons. You know, who thought it would impact my life and I would go off, remove myself from the internet. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. And I called the police after that happened. After people took great pleasure and seeing me rage about the situation. I don't know how that's also a one-up on me. Like, people who are like this says more about you, honey. That's that's your karma. No matter what, I always do my thing. Always do my thing. I mind my business. I defend myself sometimes. When she has the zoomies, she makes the weirdest noises. Like... She's a great joy in our lives. Right, Julia. BBJ is pretty much an icon. <laughs> and the Chantelvers. I understand people were upset I had to rehome her. And yes, it was for a man. This is not just my man, this is my husband, okay? And I moved across the world. If I could take them with me, I would. I still want to take Sam, but I'm not sure. I'm still torn on that. What's best for him? BBJ definitely can't come. They don't even let uh, pets who are sick like that travel. 
silly girl. <laughs> Julia reminds me of BBJ so much. You guys have seen my videos. I don't know how people who have watched me from the beginning can say I didn't love those cats immensely when they were in all my videos. BBJ was behind me all the time. I called her sweetest angel of the 800th degree. And just because of an oversight of her nails, really? It's ignorant on my part because I, I'm not, wasn't really doing the best care for like the elderly cat that she needed, especially at the end, sure. But to purposely hurt her, never. And animal control came like three times. I could get those records for court if there was it. Because I know she's going to say, you're a documented animal abuser. Really? I bet you she threw, she slipped that vet a few bucks to say that on, on report. I didn't see the report. Again, I had an appointment to, to take her. But how can she sit there and say I saved her from euthanasia? A you got your mouse! Oh my god, she's so cute. From euthanasia, when she euthanized two dogs. And the other one, I'd like to see the vet records for, the, for Maggie. I really would. Why was she euthanized, liar? <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to focus any more attention on her. I've said this ad nauseum, all these things. Oh my god, why are you still talking about it? This is Foodie Beauty Channel, my life. BBJ was a part of my channel and my life for many years. Always happy and healthy. It doesn't, you don't need a lawyer, by the way. To take someone to civil small claims court. I'll need to be in Canada. So maybe I'll have to make a trip at some point. Maybe around Christmas. If I can. I have so much proof. <laughs> Get your mouse! She's tearing it around with it in her mouth. Do I hear cats outside? She hears cats mating. No. <laughs> Julia. Oh my god. Did you see the mouse in her mouth? Julia! Bring me your mouse. Mm-hmm. Bring me a mouse. Bring me a mouse. Oh. <laughs> Sweet girl. Mm. You can't have any of this food. Go eat your meat mixture. Get the mouse. Go get the mouse. <laughs> anyway. There's so much evidence in your videos alone of you going real life with me, my my fashion show, um, putting pictures of my family. I have all those screenshots, by the way, of my mother's house. Just being a total creep, total creep. Your entire channel is evidence against you. I'm just waiting for YouTube to see it.
My YouTube manager never got back to me. They're useless. I've had, I think, three different managers switch, uh, Oh my god, I should put the mouse on my leg. Go get it! <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. She's too cute. Get your mouse! <clears throat> so... There's also defamation of animal abuser. Because again, I can bring up documents. Animal control, her own vet. Where it was already documented and known that she had arthritis and kidney issues. There's so many things. I'm not going to discuss the whole thing, but... I'm going to focus on my life for now until I get to Canada. Even if she shows BBJ now, it will be like, we don't know how she lives the majority of the time. I don't trust her at all. I'm learning patience. <laughs> so that's all I want to say. Anything else I do? Regarding the situation? I think move in silence is the best thing to do as they say. Um, She destroyed my living room. <laughs> I'm <not> sorry. <laughs> yeah, anything else? Forget it. She's not gonna know any of my my next boobs. <laughs> So, I will do a restart, maybe once I get signed up for whatever meal plan I choose, they deliver it, I can start. go from there. I'm sorry if people are disappointed. 
I'm not giving up. I'm just having a hard time. Um, I'm going to be looking into more help, more of what's available. Some of these services have diet coaches. But I like doing these eat with me's and vlogs too because there's some people who watch me, they like the eating videos. Some people who watch me like the vlogs. So, you know. <laughs> this soup has cilantro and chunks of chicken at the bottom. It's a lemony and creamy. So anyone who watches and supports that witch can never say they care about BBJ, ever. Because if you did, you would demand proof that she's okay. She doesn't want to exploit her for views until her views are low, and then she pulls out the let's order something for BBJ out of her hat, right? Mm, hypocrites. So it's like, there are they have like, you place your order on like their WhatsApp number and they assign you I think to someone who um, does a consult with you. Bring me your mouse. Excuse me. I'm in a lot of pain today from my back. And so when I was in Canada, I didn't just get rid of the cats, like you'll just get rid of them. No. Go look at my conversation video on my community tab. It was a very hard decision. That's why I had a vet appointment. I wasn't sure if she was, um, if it was right to do that to her at her age with all her health issues, if she was suffering and in pain. You should know, liar. You did that to your animals when they were sick, right? So why is it not my choice to do that with my pet? Like, these people are psychotic. I can't. I can't get over it. The nerve of you to involve yourself. <laughs> like, again. So, I know I would definitely have a case. People even say, why don't you get a restraining order? Like, I think in Canada, restraining orders, you can only get them for, like, lovers who are abusive. I'm not sure.
What about creators who are abusive? <sighs> anyway, that's it for this video. Again, I'm just going to uh, <clears throat> work in silence now. Unless I need to say anything, I don't know, but. <sighs> yeah, so I thank you guys for watching this video and listening to me. It means a lot. And uh, don't worry, I will be going live soon. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.